The following podcast has been brought to you by Audible.com. Sign up now using the URL audibletrial.com forward slash TTV to get a free audiobook of your choosing. We recommend Brick by Brick, how Lego rewrote the rules of innovation and conquered the global toy industry. You may recognize this as one of the sources we use in our show, Bionicle Autopsy. Remember, that's audibletrial.com forward slash TTV. Enjoy the show. Five, four, three, two, one, sink. Hello, everybody, and welcome to episode 146 of the TTV podcast. I waited. Uh, you thank you, it. thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> that was a bad trend we were slipping into. You get Mardi Gras, you get Mardi Gras, everyone gets Mardi Gras. Quiet, but we wish we didn't. Listen. Marty, I'm seeing a lot of comments as we get new fans. They don't even know what it is. It's a very obscure. <laughs> it's it's, joke. it's a joke that most people aren't going to get unless they join the message boards. Because I mean, even late. then, yeah. it's Mardi Gras. You'd think if we're gonna have some holiday, it's gonna be something well known like Hanukkah or Thanksgiving or Halloween. Yeah, like only half it's of the U.S. actually sep- even celebrates Mardi Gras. Good job, well, Messo. I Thanks feel for like that. a well known, a more common holiday would actually make it worse. Christmas! Because yeah, when that, it, that would make it more confusing. Because when, when it's something not as commonly celebrated, then you you can probably get the idea that something's up. Yeah, because I mean, like, we've, we've, we've made that joke before. Like, uh, we, it would be even worse if we were just like, Christmas every every episode. Because <laughs> that, that would make no sense. Like, happy you're Christmas, like, everybody! You're like those annoying people on Facebook that are like, 170 days till Christmas. I'm just like, oh, shut wait, up. Wait, people do, do that? People do, yeah, do people do that for you? Yeah, that's why I hate Facebook. I, that's one of the reasons why I hate that, Facebook. That's why, that's why you hate Facebook. <laughs> yeah. no, I, I just, no. I, I added, that's one of the reasons um, why I hate Facebook. Viper? It's not 170 days till Christmas, it's 208 as of this recording. Thank you, Takuma. Uh, thanks, Thank you. Takuma. I really uh, wanted to know that. I really yeah, I'm sure that really 208 mattered. 208 days, 11 hours, 52 minutes, and 57 seconds. You kill me, Takuma. We got a pretty small cast today. Yes, no yeah, we have five people. But those five people Is that really are... that small? I'm messing I'm uh, Arnoran. I'm LJ. Uh, I'm Viper, sorry. I was expecting a Kai. Say, say, I'm Shakuma say. Nuva. Okay. And once again, this is TTV 146. We're gonna have a fun time today. I, I was I was trying to get you to say your name again without the laughter and the sorry, but oh uh, well, it's too late now. We moved on. Yeah. yeah good job, Viper. You're just like Kahi screwing up our intros. I feel terrible. I'm sorry. <laughs> so, I'm, <laughs> going back to the call that all countdown thing for a quick second. I did that with Halo 4. I like went nuts yeah, about Halo 4. I was like, okay, the new, next day, one less day in Halo 4. Yeah, and I mean, I screwed up yesterday's TTV talk, so not to date this podcast episode or anything. Oh, um, <laughs> uh, yeah. But. We've had a bunch of interesting stuff going on. That's like, yes. for those that haven't been Such following as? along or may not listen to TTV talks, I would recommend you all go listen to the latest TTV talks episode because we talk about the channel and pretty much outline all of our plans for the foreseeable future except like one or two things most of the stuff we're going to be doing is talked about in that video for the next couple months until the next bionicle leak season and the short version is we're basically reinvigorating the channel with a bunch of new content and yeah. initiatives obviously some of the new content's already available like product showcase um top tens Yep. But we do have a few other shows coming out soon, and then we also announce a certain thing regarding like the channel where we're going to be uploading videos and stuff and how that's going to work. So Exactly. I'd recommend you go check it out. Yeah, if you're interested in the channel, you follow us because you like the channel. That's a good video to watch because there's a lot of important stuff there. And there are a couple things which we did talk about, and there will be more details outlined at a later date, like our vest- vessel, I almost said vessel, vessel. <laughs> initiative. Go vessel. make um, sure to check out our vessel, guys. It should be... It should be clarified um, in the TTV talk because we didn't really clarify it ourselves, but the vessel thing is only a potential thing we're going to be doing. It's not set in stone yet. If, our, if the plans don't work out, we'll just say they didn't work out, but we were t- making sure that everyone's informed ahead of time just in case. Yep, we're in talks with the people and we're getting yeah. stuff done, but no promises. 
Yeah, so. But no, it's an exciting time at TTV, and pretty soon you're gonna, it's going to be the Makuta Fest craze. Yeah, but uh, basically we got a vid- we're, we're hoping to have a video out every day from now on, so. Pretty much, except we, we actually have nothing on. We actually have nothing on Saturday, May 30th. We have uh, nothing. It's a blank well, day. Well, that could be on, like, bank yeah, holiday. We do. Mission fail. Why do we, we have something? Oh, oh, LJ's yeah. been working on top tens. We can release one then. On Saturday? Yeah. Like, right now? <laughs> well, it was Sunday, but okay, cool. Well, yeah, no, Sunday, it, it is Sunday. Sundays are top ten days. So what on Saturday? Mm. <laughs> oh, good point. Stuff. Oh, okay. well. I mean, I guess I could, we could go ahead and release Dragonology. Yeah. I was kind of hoping we had that in reserve. Basically, this is what we do. We're planning impromptu, but no, I anyway. just wanted to give you a heads up on that. Yeah, see, th- 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 this is the thing that Vessel will help us on, because a- as of right now, what we do is we just kind of figure out what to release on yeah. whatever days as it comes up. Now, we'll, have, we'll be a bit more organized, so uh, there should be a video every single day from this point well, on. Once, well, once point the on, initiative launches, in the yeah, coming, over the, in the summer, in the it's going to be a future. fun summer. Yeah. The summer of TTV! No, yeah. <laughs> no. Uh, no, it is not going to be a fun summer. A lot of people still have reservations about early content being um, released on Vessel. Yeah. But there really is no difference. We already we already have all of our videos uploaded early ahead of time anyway. And it's usually up at least a week earlier. For you as a YouTube viewer, there will be no difference. For those of us that choose to subscribe to us on Vessel, you just get cool advanced access where we have a different schedule. It's fine. Yeah, it'd be it'd be like if you were given the unlisted link to it, that's all. Yeah. But, um, but yeah, yeah, we'll have more details about that when it actually pans out. But aside from that, how's everybody been doing? Uh, I've been doing pretty good. It's hot. What about you, LJ? Too hot. Oh, yeah, I forgot. That's why you said it's not going to be a fun summer. The heat. Yeah. I don't like heat. I do not like heat I mean, at all. Your location's weird. It's like you're you're either super hot or super cold. It's like barely. I mean, that's the thing. I like the cold. I'm a very cold person. I like the cold. Person. You're a very I cold t- person. <laughs> I would absolutely move up north the second like I get the chance because I I love the coldness and everything like when when we went over there to New York during a New York Comic Con that was awesome I just loved the temperature I loved how it all felt yeah so yeah no I can't stand cold when I took a trip down I south you said you love cold well, look, <laughs> did I say that I I can't stand heat <laughs> Jesus LJ come on. Wow. <laughs> get with the program, LJ. <laughs> yeah, get your craft together. Come on. <laughs> get your head in the game. <laughs> no, get your head in the game. Yeah, no, I agree. I, I love the cold. When I went down south, took a trip down south, it was so hot. And when I say so hot, I mean in the 70s, which a lot of people find to be just normal temperature. Oh, yeah, that is normal I couldn't stand mm. that. I was sweltering. Are you serious? It's, it's like... Dude, 70 is cold. Yeah, right. 70, no. from 70 is well, cold. It's usually seven, at least no. 72 in what? my in like my 90s. house. Like 72 is like room temperature here. What's with uh, it, that's really warm for not not only me, for my my family too. We can't stand the 70s. Dang. Okay, maybe I'm a little different there. I don't I don't mind that. I I hate it when it gets up to 90. That's when it starts to be ridiculous. What's yeah, 75 like it's 80 in Celsius? Right now. Oh, we man. use Celsius. Dude, I, don't don't ask us like we know Celsius. Celsius. I, don't know. <laughs> I have no. We clue. use Celsius <laughs> over here. Aren't you cool? Well, I, I, yeah, I, everyone uses yeah, Celsius. Everyone uses over Celsius. Else. The U.S. is just stupid. Nah, man. But yeah, we got our Fahrenheit. We we the best. <laughs> Fa- Fahrenheit indigo prophecy. You know, <laughs> I remember a day when we all used AOL Messenger, Yahoo Messenger, MSN Messenger. The most. I still use Yahoo Messenger. All right, fair point. The most exciting Why? thing Be- about meeting Why new people that's... on these messengers was to get to ask them, what's the weather like? What's the temperature over there? What? <laughs> Nobody. <laughs> I honestly don't know what you're talking about right now. What are you talking about? Um, LJ, uh, your stupid is showing. <laughs> Seriously, no one else is excited about that? Getting online, meeting people from different places and asking what the weather was like? Literally, no, never. No. <laughs> I have absolutely no interest in what the weather is like for you. I don't care. Unless I'll, there's like well, a hurricane I, that's blowing 150 miles per hour winds or something like that, I really couldn't care. 
Yeah, unless you <laughs> at unless which point I'm wondering why you're on the computer. Yeah, unless there's weather that could potentially harm you or ruin our content schedule, forcing me to have to do more work to get the Thanks. videos out to replace you. I I'm don't care. I'm not talking about now. I'm yeah. talking about back in the day when MSN. No. Back in the day, I don't I care. Literally, I, don't I, I literally only care about the weather when it's snowing for somebody and it isn't snowing for me, which is basically oh, yeah. every winter. <laughs> Messer, stop talking whenever there's a car, darn it. Yeah. I'm sorry. I remember that one time when I was in call, and usually it doesn't snow in England. It snows like once a year. And I remember mm -hmm. I was just like, oh, hi, guys. Like, oh, it's snowing outside. Yep. And then you <laughs> jumped out the window, and we never heard from you again. Then who are you talking to now? A ghost. The ghost of Viper. <laughs> the ghost of viper man we've been playing so much dota recently it's been kind of obnoxious like you guys you guys started playing a dota match before the the, the podcast oh, and i'm like guys go. don't dota go. Over stop dota. i was like this is how you you breed bad habits you start doing it before the shows you do it every night now you're doing it before the Bart, podcast there's a big difference yeah. between a yeah. bot game and a game with actual players where you have to get invested into it before the podcast you're you're absolutely lying to me if you're saying you don't get invested in bot games at all. I don't. I absolutely do not. You're you moving. are full of crap. <laughs> no, you're I'm moving. not. I'm full of organs, Var. Organs like a heart uh, that either has way, feelings. Either way, start getting into a, a Dota game ahead of the podcast recording time is a bad habit, especially since Dota takes up memory. And traditionally, you guys don't really have the, the best memory on your computers. LJ, you're usually fine. Hi. But Mesa, like if Mesa were to try and start up a Dota match ahead of time, I, man, I'd probably be out of commission for the yeah. podcast. Well, I mean, his this is his why computer would start freezing up and stuff. We we I couldn't get Mesa if we wanted him because he's off running around Walmart or wherever before the episode. He's always late. When do I go to Walmart? <laughs> that was actually a, that, that was a joke we made while you were joke. gone. Kai, Kai uh, phoned us, was like, "Hey, I'm in Walmart. Is Meso there?" <laughs> yeah, because you were here. And this was always late, but we've talked about that before. But it's just, nice. yeah, no, it's just Dota has gotten so obnoxious that you guys just don't. Oh, never stop well, playing like, it. Don't this, don't yeah. act like Look, you don't join in, Var. I do join in, but the thing but is, that doesn't mean it, that doesn't make it any less obnoxious. Like we even tried starting up Minecraft again because we were talking about all our past <laughs> memories on TTB Talks. We, we, we combed through lists, giant lists of faction servers, and we found finally the bug decent server. And it was yeah, and be we fun. joined for we a single have day. A great time. We joined for a day, and, and then, then we went right Dota. back to Dota. <laughs> that actually reminds me. I got an email pretty recently. Do you guys That's remember the server Blacklight? No. Vaguely. All right. Well, I got an email from them. They're starting back up. That's neat. I guess I don't. I honestly don't remember that. To be fair, yeah. The international is coming up, so that's kind of why the Dota hype is going on right now. Because we got the compendium challenges and all very true compendium craze and stuff, etc., yeah. etc. Et yeah, that is true. Mm -hmm. I don't know, it, but it is a little, it is a little sad. We just, we just, it's like every night we're on Skype, and I'm, I'm sure Meso, you've noticed this because you're usually the one who's late to the calls, but you'll jump in and we're just in a game of Dota. Wow, well, <laughs> that's that's it's like, yeah, it's like you can you can expect it now because we don't do anything to else. prevent. To prevent oversaturation every now and then I take like a break to clear my palate and then I come back with a vengeance. Like yesterday I didn't play any games and now today I'm going to try a new yeah, hero. Yeah. That, that, well, no, you, so it's going to be that's fun. That's what it was like when I first joined TTV. I would like join the call at like three in the morning and everyone's playing Dota and I'd just fall yeah, asleep NBA listening and to you going, go mid, go mid, now you <laughs> feed oh, I hate now. Dota. Thank you so much. <laughs> but you know, it, I, I guess we, we might have a competitor though that might be able to pick up our Minecraft-esque interest again, because um, there was that, what, that Lego mm. Worlds mm -hmm. announcement? That sort of Yeah, there's points? like, there's a rumor of like, well, there's not a rumor. There is going to be a new Lego game. It's called Lego Worlds. People found it in the back of an instruction booklet. But it's unclear what exactly it is, but from the tagline, like, explore, discover, create, and the look of the image, it looks like it's going to be Lego's version of Minecraft. Which sounds really, really cool. It sounds cool. I hope it has I, multiplayer. Yeah, I, oh, I'm assuming it would. I can't imagine they, it, they would make a Minecraft competitor without multiplayer. But the thing is, to me, it almost seems like they've waited too long. <laughs> because, like, Minecraft is kind of a dead game yeah. now. I mean, I'm, it's, it's still really popular yeah. with a bunch of kids. 
Yeah. But it it is definitely declined in its like saturatedness. Like it used to be the thing that every other YouTuber did, every other person played. Yeah, you'd, you'd like walk into game stores and there'd just be like Minecraft plushies everywhere, and you'd just be like, "What? What is yeah, going on? Yeah. There's more plushies here Unless... than games." You know it's bad when you start seeing Minecraft shirts in Hot Topic. <laughs> if if there's anything in Hot Topic, you know it's oversaturated. <laughs> I I've never been to a Hot Topic before, so it's like nerdy goth central. Oh, and I'm never going there. You know, oh apologies if you shop at Hot Topic. You're you're not alone. I've got plenty of friends that shop at Hot Topic. My nah, no apologies for me. Refound. Lol. You know, I actually don't think they're too late because they're doing a Skylanders competitor now, and that seems to be a big thing. Everyone's getting really hyped for that. Yeah, I can but, see this but becoming Skylanders a big thing is too. still super popular, especially with the amiibo the amiibo craze going on right now. So that's it's obvious that now would be a good time to step in that trend. But with um. With Minecraft, though, Minecraft has kind of died off a little bit. I mean, if sure, they wanted but- to compete with Minecraft and try to take the market share from them, the time to do that would have been probably two years ago. Unless Lego's strategy is now that Minecraft has died down, Lego being at the height of its popularity can rekindle that interest in the genre. That's what I've been trying to say for the past three minutes. You poor sap. <laughs> you suck to come out else to talk. <laughs> yeah, come on. Come so I, I I briefly want to put a pause in this conversation just to point out the stupidity of Kahi. Oh, oh. You, not me. What's going on with that? I just checked our website, I don't know, out of pure curiosity, and I'm on the front page, and I swear, I kid you not, there's a stupid reblog post about Spider-Man and Hawkeye. Kahi! Kahi. He's done it again. Ka- okay. He did it again. So for the fans that maybe follow our, our website, it's connected to a Tumblr blog so that um all the posts and everything is kind of it's kind of um made through Tumblr. So it's kind of like a really fancy Tumblr theme. We made it in a way so that we could, you know, combine Tumblr and our website together. And every now and then, I don't know why Kahi does this, but I guess he's got his Tumblr app connected to his phone or something, and whatever for whatever reason he'll reblog something thinking he's on his account. But he's not. And it just and he's not. It'll get reblogged to the TTV website. And it's so obnoxious. Hopefully yeah. it's well, not he's done like this in inappropriate. The past. Yeah. I know. Oh, I, it, it has been in the past. <laughs> I'm I'm waiting for when it crosses the line and we get the brunt of the flack. It's like pictures of Emma Stone. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that would be Kai's thing. <laughs> New news, TTV is obsessed with Emma Stone. It's just like, come on, Emma. Kai. <laughs> Emma. <laughs> anyway, but yeah, sorry about that interruption. Back to Lego Worlds. No, I, yeah, I, I, fair enough. Okay, but um, I don't know. I feel like it would have been better had this come out like a few years ago, like two years ago or one year ago. There's actually I'm been fine. a lot. Really, what we're going to have to see is like what is going to make this stand out from just being another Minecraft clone. Yeah, like that how is are true. they going to bring the Lego besides aesthetics? Well, actually. and I mean, it definitely makes sense because I remember back when Minecraft was first like coming out. I, f- I forget what year this was. It was like what 2010, nine. Yeah, well, about actual that. release, alpha release, beta release, and yeah, no, no, not not actual release. It was yeah. like way like alpha. Depends beta. It was like when there was only creative mode. When we were getting into it. Yeah, yeah. back before it was super popular. Hipster glasses being put on right now. Um, uh. <laughs> but yeah, no, um, that because I, I remember first exp- um, impression of it was like this is like Lego the game. Oh no, 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 no! You don't get to say that far. I made that comment, and every single last one of you jumped on me for it. You're like, that's so stupid, LJ. What are you talking about? I didn't about? jump on you. It's not like Lego. LJ, you're dumb. Shut up. And I did. Oh, wait. Okay, well, LJ, you realize that we just jump on you just to jump on you because it's fun. I'm not a trampoline. Whether we actually much agree whether we actually agree with you <laughs> no, or not but doesn't matter. No, like one. LJ oh. is the trampoline of the group. Wait. Do trampolines usually whine? Yeah. Is that a thing that happens? Yeah, when you jump the springs. the springs? Yeah, they're like... Oh, okay. Well, you know. All right. It just sounds like a little You sound like the most obnoxious dog toy. And now will be very- <laughs> thank, you. <laughs> thank you. What would be very cool though is if like you could go into this Lego Worlds game, make like a creation, like a giant like I don't know, building or something and 3D print it. And yeah, exactly. <laughs> and then get it oh, printed I was or 3D printed. A joke. 
No, I, I'm actually serious. Like, that would be cool, though. Imagine that. Like, it, it's kind of like, um, what is it? The, uh, the instructions. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah, it's kind of like that current, like, uh, Lego like a digital thing. digital designer? Where, yeah, digital designer. Um, like that, except it'd be, like, in more of a uh, interactive game format. Bring it on. That's I think it. that would be really cool. Yeah. I hope this isn't just, like, a disappointment because it's, like... It could just be a regular Lego game, just called Lego World, and we could be like oh. jumping to conclusions. But I hope it's this because uh, Lego it, games have become very oversaturated. They need something unique. Yeah. I'm pr- I'm pretty sure it's gonna be like a Minecraft thing. Well, I mean, Lego games are kind of a genre of themselves, though. So, yeah, the whole uh, but, build it, you know, floaty yeah. blocks. The the title is actually kind of interesting. Lego Worlds and then Lego Dimensions. Kind of, kind of goes together, don't you think? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um. But yeah, no. Uh, interesting game. I. Uh, I'll we'll buy see. it. I haven't bought I'll, a Lego game in literally. At least years. this one, unlike Me Lego either. Dimensions, will probably be on PC. More than likely. You know, there's probably, actually yeah. some discussion on the uh, our message boards as to whether or not Bionicle would make a cameo in this, similar to how it did in the Lego Movie, and a lot of people do not believe so. In uh, well, Lego Dimensions. Uh, like a worlds. Oh, like a worlds. Oh. Oh uh, well. I, I mean, as, worlds. I don't know. It's we don't far know as, as yeah, we is. we don't know enough about worlds to decide whether that would make a cameo or not. As far as Lego Dimensions go, probably not. It seems like they're really trying to get like the WB thing and mini yeah, figures. like franchises together. Yeah. Yeah. Mini figs. Like back unless we get future. if we get Bionicle mini figs or something, then I could see that happening. That'd actually. be cool. yeah, like those in, those fan made mini figures that they did. did. They? We, I mean, we we might see like Bionicle villains being like challenges that you have to beat. Maybe not the Toa themselves. But maybe like Loss will appear or something. Yeah, and, you have to, you know. <laughs> yeah, and then it'll fall. Like, I, I can see them doing like a Lego Dimensions pack for fifteen dollars that has like a small little baby protector and a skull spider. I'd buy it. Know. Yeah, it could work. It'd be kind of stupid, but it could work. Such a pessimist. <laughs> but I don't know. Look, anything's possible. Because if you'd told me five years ago that Hero Factory's last wave would have been only minifigs, I would have said you were crazy. <laughs> yeah. Well, I mean, technically, it wasn't only minifigs. It was minifig-centric. It was minifig-centric, but it wasn't only minifigs. I mean, was it really minifig-centric, though? I mean, it was primarily like construction, yes. just with minifigs plopped in. Yeah, yeah, exactly. It was, max, like, it was basically they're... like Exoforce construction form. But... Okay, fine, fine. Yeah, but th- those are those are still construction sets, though. Th- those are still full fledged sets on their own, even without the minifigs. Yeah, the minifigs meso. Are, the minifigs are just extra additions. It's My like point saying was that it's like saying the, existed. It's like saying the new Bionicle wave is mask centric. <laughs> it is. Masks are the focus. <laughs> well, not that's not. What I meant. <laughs> Look, that it's... that is not at all what I was talking Fight. about. My oh, point, right. my point wasn't that the minifigs were the focus. I guess so that was the wrong thing to say. My point was that they exist, and I never would have thought that. <clears throat> well, I don't know why, because we had Bionicle minifigs in the past, and they didn't do well, and they got canceled, like Bionicle. Yeah, but they also weren't really. <laughs> <laughs> like Bionicle, wow! <laughs> Ouch! That was so negative. <laughs> don't 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 tempt me, bar. I'm in a bad mood. Skype oh, screw you, bad. dude! I'm in a bad mood too. I'm not gonna deal with your crap. You're fired. I'm in a bad mood because Bar didn't let me play my daughter. I did let you play. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Enough Guys, you didn't me because Stop. I'm hungry. Thought you were eating pizza. Yeah, go eat your pizza. I, can't right? eat. I don't want to make pizza. eating noises. Oh yeah, yeah, that's right. Don't eat. Is I do. <laughs> yeah, no, please don't. That's disgusting. You're sounding like scissors. <laughs> I am sorry to all our listeners. <laughs> please stop oh, like, God, imitating don't. sounds of objects in this episode. <laughs> make a spring know. noise. <laughs> 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 that's a noise. <laughs> <laughs> I don't even know what that was. It sounds like some kind of creature off of Winnie the Pooh, though. <laughs> no, LJ, the air goes in, not out. My gosh. If oh, come on. Time, you would have been here discussion. for that whole discussion. Listen to your whippersnappers. You don't know where air goes. Oh, be quiet, all of you. <laughs> what are you doing? There it goes nowhere. It's all stuck doing? up in your head where your brain should be. <laughs> Guys. Oh. <laughs>
Central. I'm beat down. Beat down <laughs> Central. What's up? Um, control. Get back under control. Come okay. on now. Yeah. Hang on. We got to say. Control. We got to so, say the retention word. Bionicle. All right. We already said. We already said it. Well, yeah. We have to get. We have to say that to get ourselves under control, Var. Well, look. Unfortunately, we're entering like week five of the no Bionicle news dead zone. <laughs> uh, I'm not sure how long we can keep going, but I'm getting disturbing Meso. vibes. Oh. I was talking about like Lego games and stuff. I'm getting disturbing vibes of the dark ages. If we lasted so. four years doing this, we can last five weeks. That's yeah. What I'm, yeah, that's what I'm saying, I the mean, dark age. We, we should be getting news soon enough because the sets are going to start popping up very soon, like in a couple couple more weeks at least. Um, yep, two more days and it's June, and they typically show up in July. So. Yeah, so we'll, we'll start hearing some news. We'll probably get target tractor trackers all over again and stuff. Ooh, I'm excited. It's going to be fun. Uh, some like, a bunch of hunt. summer system sets have already started hitting shells, Ninjago, yeah, Spider-Man, if you're a, Marvel. If you're subscribed to... Um, just too good. You you've probably seen all the new stuff starting to appear. Yeah, right? yeah. Mm -hmm. Lego Jang's been getting. I mean, Jang Bricks has been reviewing <laughs> some stuff. Yeah, so nice fun save. times all around. Both excellent channels. So if you're not subscribed, mm -hmm. I, I don't. I can't imagine you're not subscribed to them already. I do have to yeah, say, if you're in the Lego community, you probably are. I was disappointed because when I was at the Lego store in downtown Disney, I was looking around just out of curiosity. I was like, I wonder where they're keeping the Bionicle. My brother and I took a trip around the whole our you know, run around the whole store because it's like round. Everything's on a big ring. Ooh. Didn't see it until we got to the very end. And then it was this very narrow section and it didn't even go floor to ceiling. Wow. Aww. So they it's just like, crammed it in it's at like the you end. Almost, you, it's like you could have easily missed them. That's so sad. Ouch. That's kind of how it was for Hero Factory at the Lego store event that we went to. I was in a Target. Oh, I don't even remember seeing Hero Factory there. I did. I specifically like broke away to look for it. It was in a small little quarter, and they only had like four of the sets. Right where it belongs. Oh. It's like Stinky Pete from Toy Story Two is like watching everyone, every other toy gets sold. <laughs> <laughs> Takuma, you took a Disney World trip. How'd that go? <laughs> okay. Well, uh, moving on. <laughs> you know, in context of Toy Story, do you think, like, <laughs> construction sets are, like, the most uh, morbid thing in the world? <laughs> Why would you say this? Not it's any like more than Mr. and Mrs. Potato Head. Yeah, I guess that's Fair true. Point. But, I mean, it's, just, it's like you're taking apart these 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 beings and ripping them to shreds <laughs> and then compiling them together, and then they're just like, kill me! <laughs> I just, I just, had, I just had that scene from... Toy Story 3, where the two potatoes are sitting there, and it's like, Here your, here's your nose, where's my eye? Y y give me my ear. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Dropping parts back, it's like, okay, let's rebuild this. Yeah, I guess it's fair enough, because I think uh, what Buzz Lightyear loses his arm or something, he doesn't seem to care. So. <laughs> nope. They, uh, Buzz, they you come up here and give pain. me a hand? Clunk. Uh -huh. Yeah, they, I guess they don't so really funny. feel pain. But this is serious. Probably only if they got melted down, <laughs> or else they wouldn't have been. Spoiler yeah, alert! Spoils, Messo! <laughs> That movie came out a while ago. Come I on now, people. I swear, that was the Look, part that made me, like, cry. Not the ending. That I, part I, I, wanted, I wanted Toy Story to end with them melting. That would have been awesome. Oh. Yeah, it's like, it, went, it went on for so long, it looked like they were actually going to well, do that. Well, come on, guys. We may get our chance. Toy Story 4! Is that still happening? Yeah. yeah. It's happening. I'm Too excited for that, but star. I'm more excited for The Incredibles 2. Oh, yeah! Oh, yeah. Well, yeah. I'm sure, first of all, I'm sure Toy Story 4 will be a good movie. I don't think it should exist. I'm not yeah, happy with the fact that it's I'm existing. A bit skeptical of it. In I'm Incredibles two, on I'm the other hand, awesome. Yeah, I'm still waiting for the Underminer Disney. I'm still waiting. <laughs> um, uh, uh, the under uh, they had a, yep. they had a yeah, game. Yeah, I know they had a game, yep. but I never finished Rise the game. Of the Underminer. It, it continued. It continued off the uh, end of Incredibles, so you could play. Yeah, I always liked that one. You got to play as Frozen. Frozen. I was like, I don't want to play as Incredibles. Yeah. Well, sucks. <laughs> Well, you, you, yeah, you could play as Mr. Incredible or Frozen. I remember playing it with my little brother all yeah, the time. Yeah, I played it with my friend at school. Anyway, though, yeah. Bionicle. Yeah, Bionicle. Right. Um, continue. <laughs> <laughs> this will be the new running joke, huh? Well, it's like there's not really much or anything. I, I kind of feel bad for our fans, especially the people that are subscribed specifically for Bionicle and not us. They don't care about us at all. And they, they like, listen to our podcast expecting Bionicle stuff because... You're kind of like the butt of all of our jokes right now. <laughs> I feel bad for you. At the same time, well, those look. are the same people who half the time get mad at us, so I don't feel so bad. 
<laughs> yeah, understand that we're in a very difficult position here. New Bionicle isn't exactly going the way everybody thought it would. Guys. So Nessa. we're doing our best to put out entertaining Nessa. content. But so what you're doing right now, it's not good. You're breaking the fourth wall. We're what trying to I'm we're addressing trying to have the audience. A, yeah, I know. You're addressing the audience. It's not a good thing to do when you're hosting a show. Yeah, a TV show, maybe. No, a podcast. You don't want us to address the audience. They're going to be like listening to us while playing like Dota or something, and then suddenly they're being talked to directly. Now, that's that's weird. It's jarring. Like earlier when we were talking to him about Vessel. I mean, it's different Lombard. when you start. It's different. It's different. You, <laughs> it is different when you start the show out like that and then transition to the actual discussion, yeah. not when you're in a discussion and then suddenly start addressing the yeah, audience. I like it when you. mommy and yeah, daddy you. fight. The one Stop. listening to us right now. No, I'm not talking about anyone else. I'm talking about you. You need to improve your life. Do you even exercise, bro? Get the blank dagger. I, guys, come on now. I'm sure that there's going to be someone who's going to be like, yeah, no, I kind of find it a little jarring too. It, it I, should, I it, bet it, if it, I go back and re-listen to your audio, you said you're the butt of all our jokes, not they're the butt of all our <gasps> jokes. No, I, I actually, no, I did say there. I was like, you know, I feel bad for all the fans that only subscribe to us to for <laughs> Bionicle stuff because they're like the butt of all of our jokes right now. <gasps> but anyway, even if even if it did, it doesn't matter. Point still stands. But like, it, it's just like how people found it um kind of uh, jarring whenever we mentioned like the episode title within the episode. Yeah. Because it kind of it takes you out of the experience. It's just like suddenly you're back where you are just listening to a podcast. Which is know? weird, though. Breaks. I mean, you'd expect that. I mean, it's an episode title. Where do you think it's coming from? Our imagination? Um, actually, yeah, it is. <laughs> well, yeah. I mean, the episode title should be like a summary of what is being talked about, not just a random phrase. I don't know why we did that, but... <laughs> Talk to yourself. <laughs> Yeah, I know, I, I know, I know, I know. I, I'm not, I'm not saying I didn't come up with that. I'm just saying, looking back on that now, like four years after we started, it doesn't seem like a good idea. <laughs> yeah, like, but I think of all the laughs we've had because of not, it. not even all Rooster Teeth does that anymore. I don't think. No, most podcasts don't. They, what we should have been doing is TTV talk, or not TTV talk. So oh boy, T oh. the TTV podcast, and then what we discuss in the in the podcast. So, like, say, uh, for example, for this episode, it would be the TDP podcast episode 146, Lego Worlds, the message boards, and, and stuff. Yeah, whatever else we'll talk about this episode. I wanted to talk uh, about the meso crab. you kind of did that in the description. Yeah, but well, we yeah, do. That's, that's, that's what I'm saying is that like the title should say that. That though. requires Just, you to already click the episode and right. read the description. Yeah. You have to already do that extra click. But if you're on the channel and you see what it, exactly what we talk about from the channel page, you can decide whether you want to listen to it or yeah, not. Yeah, that is. So it's more conv it's that. it's more convenient to the audience that is convenient. instead of just a random obscure title. Yeah, like we have been doing. Which I'm sure there are also people that uh, enjoy the obscure titles too. I'm so. sure. I want to give a shout out to XX T'Challa XX T'Chaya, <laughs> not sure, for the Meso and Hermit Crab form epic creation. <laughs> he made it for his ceramics final oh. project, and it is great. I yes, love remember it. that? Remember that dragon that I made? That was my ceramics final. <laughs> yeah. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> There was this really funny night where Var was working on a mystery undisclosed project. <laughs> and we were like, man, Var, is there nothing you can't do? It's like, next up, you're just going to bust out a butt, like a sculpture <laughs> of some kind. And you're going to reveal that oh, you're like a master of sculpting. And he literally pulls out a sculpture that he made. <laughs> like, from it's his like, it's like at least a meter. It's like a meter or so, half a meter or so of a, a dragon. <laughs> <laughs> I do so much. But, like, I, I guess I kind of keep it to myself, though, because, like, I always do a bunch of projects on my own because I, I don't know, I get bored just sitting around. I always want to do something creative. And I don't want to do the same thing either. I want to learn new things all the time. So, like, I took up ceramics, for example. I've recently taken up music creation. So I always do kinds of these sort of things. But, You're I don't know. You're crazy. I wish, getting bored. I wish I had the inspiration like that. Instead, I'm like, I don't know what to do, so I'm going to sleep. Lazy cow. I just like to learn things. And learning then I've is got too many things I want to do. Honestly, learning is the best part about things for me. It's like after I've already learned everything I want to learn and then I just know what, what I'm doing, it starts to get a little boring then. Wow. Because, <laughs> yeah. yeah. I mean, it's, it's, no, it's no longer new at that point, you know? That's You're going to end up playing. 
every character in Dota. Probably. That's honestly. why I miss school so Io. much. Like, you get to learn different types of things at the same mm -hmm. time. Me at college now, I only learn, like, one subject, and then that's it. And it See, gets really boring sometimes. Honestly, it's very different, from, at least from my, my experience. I hated high school because it's like they knew the exact way to soak up all the fun out of learning to where it was just a chore. Mm -hmm. So like like primary school, like high school and middle school, that always sucked. College has been much more fun because yeah. I actually enjoy learning about things. College yeah. is so much better. Yeah. By yeah. the end of school, it was just kind of like, revise, revise. I'm just like, I can't revise for like three hours straight. I need a break. Revise. <laughs> revive. 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 So, <coughs> so anyway, back to the meso hermit crab that he, that poor dude got overshadowed. I like it. I like the grin. <laughs> <laughs> Just, just saying, hey, you know, it's cool. The one time I used ceramics, it Shout like out to broke you, buddy. in the kiln, so... This isn't about you, this is about XX T'Challa XX. <laughs> hey, I'm, I'm you broke in the kiln, or come on, you have to make it a certain, you have to make it a certain thickness. Yeah, you, you gotta make it a certain I, I a thickness noob. if you attach something, crisscross applesauce, so on and so forth. Come on, you gotta make sure you have air holes, too. Exactly, I, I did ceramics once, it was a lot of fun. Did you really? Yeah. Took a whole ceramics yeah, it class. It was fun, great. but I had to, like, it would have been fun if I could do what I want instead of, like, a stupid tile plate. You have ceramics broke. where you come from? Okay, funny thing about that, actually, because like, <laughs> I guess my ceramics teacher just liked everything I did because I always went out of my way to, like, stretch the rules as much as possible so I could just make whatever I wanted. Because, <laughs> oh, like, like for example, she, she would list out, okay, you have to make a mug. I would make like a dragon mug. <laughs> oh my god! Yeah, it's like gosh. the neck, like as the yeah. As it, the it would be like primarily a dragon, and then like it sort of a passes as a for putting something in. Yeah, it'd be like sort of passes a mug, but not really a mug. But I, I would always say like we had to make a mask. Okay, so I made this giant like demonic skull mask thing, which wasn't the one I showed you by the way, Mesa. Oh okay. Um, and she was like, "Well, I guess that counts. It's not really what I was going for, but all right." <laughs> <laughs> so and I always got A's, so it was always fun. Yeah, wow. whenever like my art teacher didn't like me. Really, I I have had just the greatest relationship with all my art teachers. They're awesome. Like she would like uh, she would be like, oh, you can do what you want, and I I decided to do like uh like illustrations, and she's like, that's not real art. I'm like, what? Oh. So we can do whatever we want, and now you're telling me what to do. And then she goes well, the over to this person who's like amazing at everything. She's like, "You're amazing." I'm like, "That's what not. That's not what teachers supposed to do. You're supposed to help people that need help, not the people who are fine on their own." Like, well, well, all, there's also different levels of learning. For people more experienced, you still need to learn new things. Art never just stops learning. You have to. Oh yeah, art's one of those but, things um, you people. You the qu the question for you is: Were those illustrations original illustrations, or yeah. were they just fan characters? Yeah, they were original. I was doing different character designs. Okay, okay. All right, cool. Fair enough. Yeah, and back your, up your, your, far. Your art teacher sucks then. Yeah, she's really rude and opinionated. <laughs> yeah, well, Viper. My art teacher was also really rude and opinionated, and I think that's why I liked her. <laughs> I, I love people that just talk crap to other people. It's hilarious. They're funny. Man, far, you're such a... <laughs> Listen, insulting people is it's it's fun. It's I mean, fun. when they're on your side, it's great, but when they're shouting at you, it's not as fun. Yeah, cow. Sometimes you just gotta be able to take the hit. I do like the hit, but I'm kind of like, okay then. I know you're wrong, but okay then. You know you're wrong, huh? Well, then you gotta fight. You gotta stand your ground, I Viper. Did. I, I know with yeah, absolute chicken. certainty that you're wrong. I said well, yeah, did, did you just say, whatever. Did you stand? Okay, so. That's not saying yeah whatever is not standing your ground, Viper. That's caving in. That's I, like, the exact opposite. But I, I continued what I was doing. And that was probably why I only just about scraped a C from R. <laughs> oh man, a C. Uh, Yikes. Ouch. Wait, is that like is that like a fail or something? It's a pass over here. No, no it's, it's passing. Wow. It's just wow. not great. It's average. A, a C for complete garbage. <laughs> So anyway, it's a cool hermit crab. Yeah. <laughs>
Thanks, buddy. I like the grid. The end. Yeah. Shut down. Okay. But wait, is it is it a hermit crab or like a shell? He says it's a hermit crab. Oh man, I got pinched by a hermit crab once. I was in a pet store that I volunteered when I was real young for. And I was I was holding one of the hermit crabs. I was like, oh this is so cool. And it pinched me and it wouldn't let go. Oh no. It wouldn't let go. How'd you get it off? I don't know, one of the employees helped me out. I, I really forget how it ended. I think I lost like a chunk of flesh. Oh. <laughs> Maybe he had like his his like tendons in his claw like suddenly died, so he's like forever stuck on your finger. <laughs> <laughs> it's like how did you go through life with like a hermit crab <laughs> hanging off? <laughs> <laughs> oh, it, it actually, you world. see, in that transgression, it passed on to me some of its hermit crab blood. So I am now the human hermit. You, you're not a hermit crab, man. <laughs> no wonder he's so secluded. Oh. Exactly. That's, that's my superpower. He just, just hides in his little protective miru shell. Exactly. My superpower is cowardice. Nice. Hey. I mean, I'm part French. Boom. Kidding. Wow. I apologize to any French listeners. Yeah, TDB does sorry. not condone the actions of LJ. <laughs> uh, Here we go. Even in the but, Berlin Man interview, you had to say that. We, hey, listen. We say that all the time. It's our most commonly yeah. used response. <laughs> also because people commonly think we work as a hive mind, so. Oh, uh, yeah. I forgot about that. Yeah. So sometimes it's good to make that apparent. So let's see, what, what else thanks. is on the message boards? Uh, Bionicle plot holes. Oh, were yeah. there any plot holes in Bionicle? I can't yes, think of many off the moment. I'm sure there were. Zach time. It's not, it's not a plot hole, that's just No, like, I mean like the disintegration thing. That's still not a plot hole, that's just a, a retcon. Yeah. Guys, you have to actually properly, like, say... <laughs> talk about the topic be like okay so well, look I, i'd love to mention the topic the topic says let's talk about bionicles plot holes by rexperia that's the topic yeah that's what i'm that's what no that's what i'm saying just be like okay so uh, i'm looking at this topic bionicles plot holes by rexperia okay i wish you just did no, i'm only you had started out like that i'm very yeah, mess so i'm pondering here what are plot holes not like what what are our plot holes but what are the plot holes because I vaguely remember Krolix made a giant list on BZP a couple of years ago of, like, all the plot holes list. in Bionicle. Oh, you do? Let me check. Because I can I mean, I, I have it somewhere. Fun fact, I am probably the least knowledgeable person here about Bionicle's story. Uh, and you I don't think so. You want to go? I bet I'm not as knowledgeable you as you. Go? You want to go? You want to go how much lack of knowledge we have? Come let's on. do it. I mean, let's have I a mean, challenge. Well, he never even read the book, so... Yeah, uh -huh. but he uh, 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 uh oh. That is true, I suppose. But I've only read one year of the books. Yeah, me oh, too. I mean, you still read books, though. I've read five yeah. books, well, six. And then the Web of Shadows novelization, so seven. I also By the way, read the 06 comics. So I, I, I had to, um. I had to rip a DVD copy of Web of Shadows so that we could get the, uh. Do oh, dogs are barking. <laughs> <laughs> so you could get the I bark. That was your girlfriend. Oh, wow. oh my gosh! <laughs> Rip the dogs out! <laughs> I'm stunned, I have no response. Oh, he was like a seal in the background. <laughs> Alright, so... so... So this is what you meant by it's not fun when you're the recipient. <laughs> yeah. So, Meso, uh, turns out there aren't any plot holes listed here. There are open plots, unanswered questions, and intentional mysteries, and that's it. So, okay. Well, that's that. Wow. Anyway, um, what I was saying... Stop barking, dog. What I was saying is... <laughs> what I was saying... <laughs> I swear! <laughs> <laughs> oh no, yes, calm down, Michael do. Vick. <laughs> what I was saying is that I had to get the, uh, the Web of Shadows. And um, I, I, I recently learned that I actually kind of like Web of Shadows. I don't really? think it's that bad of a movie. Yeah. Well, actually, we'll find out uh, in a this, few months. We're this year's a 10, 10 year anniversary. Yeah, we're going to do oh, our review. Really? Yep. Yeah, we, we're going to, one day we're going to watch it. We should go yep. ahead and do that and release that today. 
Not today. We're gonna do it on the it's anniversary. It's not until October. Doesn't matter. Do it, it matters. Do it you mean, you uh, should anyway, what, now and then release regardless, it in October. <laughs> regardless, I actually liked Web of Shadows, unlike Mask of Light, which I rewatched and thought was awful. See, I already and watched Legend Mask of Light. I thought it was great. I rewatched Legends of Metro Nui. I didn't really like it. I remember Web of Shadows being one of my favorites, so I'm curious how it will I, end up. I be. liked Web of Shadows because it like showed more of the like baddies side, and I'm more interested in what the villains are doing. <laughs> yeah, it was just more interesting because like the villains, the villains. First of all, Teradox is really, really boring. Like, like I mean, with the context of like my autopsy, he's a bit more interesting. But if you just look at that as just Makuta's just evil, he's he's a really boring villain. I have a cunning plan. <laughs> and like the delivery of his lines are usually really slow and dull. So it's just like I don't know. He wasn't that interesting in the first two Bionicle movies to me. So his struggle, his whatever, was never really that interesting in the battle against them was never really that, that interesting. But Rudaka and Sidorak have a mm. lot more personalities. They're a lot more fun to watch actually do things. And then Vakama turning evil was kind of, doesn't really make sense with yeah. the, the character of Vakama. But if you're just going into this movie with just this <clears> movie <throat> and not really considering other things, I think it, it works pretty well. And I like his um his dynamic with Matau. And the fighting itself is something that I noticed was really good. Like, there's actually yeah. fighting. Like, Matt and Vakama are actually fighting, not playing a game of Coley. Yeah, it, it, and it, also in the second one, whenever they, like, had a fight with the Dark Hunters, it usually be just be like, it'd be like, Dodge, hit the wire. The wire connects to a giant tower. Oh, no, the tower's falling. Let's just stand there. It was the least corny of all the movies, from what I remember. Yeah. That's yeah. That's, yeah, basically, that, that's what <laughs> I remember of it, too. It's just like... It, it, it was trying to actually be a movie. Because Mask of Light was corny, but I liked it in like a nostalgic way, kind of like the, the golden era. To that, uh, Legends of Metro Nui was corny, and it was just corny. And Legends is, <laughs> I mean, uh, Legend Reborn is, well, you know. So we don't talk about Legend yeah, Reborn. <laughs> what of Shadows is a wild card here. Yeah, I just I'm thought the Toa, the Toa are just more interesting characters. The Metro <laughs> oh are just more gosh. interesting characters than the Nuva. Like I didn't, I didn't like Mask of Light because the Nuva weren't interesting. Yeah, they yeah. Didn't. I was so was disappointed stuck. with Tahu in Mask of Light. <laughs> so yeah, Tahu was just I rage face. To, like the dark side of the Bionicle universe is just like, oh yeah, Tahu is awesome. And then I watched the movie and I'm like, I'm so disappointed. Time to go f be a Zach fan. <laughs> <laughs> wow. It's just they they were too stoic in Mask of Light. Mm -hmm. But like in Legend of Mitchell, they were actually characters. They made they cracked jokes. They felt pain, and Vakama actually had to do a lot of growth. That was just fun to watch, and that's continued mm -hmm. in Web of Shadows. Mask of Light is not like that though. Yeah, but Mask of Light yeah. has that Makuta Matanui charm to it. It's got the nostalgia. What well, Makuta? Yeah, you that that no, doesn't Matanui. make it. That doesn't make it a good movie. No, it doesn't. That's no. the only reason why I liked it. I have like no emotional attachment to Metro Nui. <laughs> It is basically, it doesn't even rank. Uh, I, I like just, oh. ranks I for me. Sigh yeah, it ranks Metro for me Nui. as well. I would say Metro Nui is not not quite on par with Mata Nui, but it's it's pretty up there. It's definitely it's, a very it's, unique it's a close landscape. Second. The only thing I like about Metro Nui is the the like the plot twist, like of Doom being a uh, pterodactyl. That it. was cool. That was I was like, cool. whoa. Well, okay, actually, that's one of the flaws I had with the film. Because of the one scene where you see Duma, it, this is made intentionally so they could like build it up or whatnot. Is it because he's talking to himself? Is that he's talking that to scene? himself? And it's well, so weird Makuta and confusing. Well, is a crazy little noodle. <laughs> <laughs> crazy little pasta. Crazy little noodle. Oh, little you crazy little noodle. You're here noodle. in spirit. Pasta. No. Yeah, that Next. that is that is a weird scene, and that never <laughs> made sense. Do they ever do anything with that? Ever? No. I guess that's kind of a plot hole, right? Yeah. Man, also, not really. I don't know, dude. I think it's kind of a plot yeah, hole. It makes sense to be a plot hole. I'm drawing a blank. It does not it... make sense. I'm How does it make sense? It makes yeah, sense to be a plot hole. It sense to be a plot hole. Okay, okay, yeah. Because yeah. I'm drawing a blank when it comes to other plot holes, so there you go. Come full circle. There's a plot oh. hole. Call it there now. Are there are a few in the topic that you never read off. I read it off. I just didn't see how they were, I mean, I read it, I didn't see how they were plot holes. Like he says, I think the biggest, uh, LG Nui says, I think the biggest plot hole was how Bionicle characters died. 
It was explained that bionicles who died were sent to the Red Star to be revived and sent back to the modern robot, but since everyone is trapped there with the Castora, we still don't know what happened to the characters who died, and then he rattles them off. But that's not really a what? plot hole. No, no that's not, not a plot hole. That's that. just a loose end. Not that. There are some others that I saw. Like, I saw this topic last How about last you night. read them, then? <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm loaded up the page. Here's, here's one. <laughs> Here, maybe I have some good ones. How were the Tuamata standing in exactly the right yeah, places to get dropped into the tubes that led to the energized Predodermis vat? That's not a plot hole, that's coincidence and story <laughs> plot related contrivance. That's, that's because story, yeah, because narrative. Yeah. Why was there an just, EP just because it's, there at all? Just because it's contrived, it doesn't necessarily make it a plot hole. No. Yeah. A plot hole. To my knowledge, a plot hole is like something that kind of breaks the, uh, the the story. Like it's something that the story makers didn't really consider, and without it, the, the whole the kind the whole story doesn't the narrative really flow collapses or make sense. onto it. Yeah, itself. the narrative no longer makes any sense. It's like illogical, impossible events. Right, mistakes. like Good. like right. like uh, the Toa defeating Makuta, but the entire time Makuta just could have just walked over there and slaughtered them. Yeah, uh, like I think. In yeah. that case, yeah, all those, those are nothing. But a very good example would be Ninjago. Yes, Ninjago has plot holes, like, everywhere. Plot holes <laughs> at the wazoo. Yep. If this was a Ninjago discussion, I would... Or, like, in, in Mask of Light, say, uh, Takoro has just a, a switch that can make it rise back up out, over the lava. Like, yeah. that would be a plot hole. <laughs> like, it, it's like, that was such a big part... Takoro sinking into the lava, and oh my god, that's such a big moment. But they, they could have really risen it back up. Why? Why did it sink into the lava? I don't actually know. Just to make it remember. dramatic. <laughs> well, I mean, there isn't well, really any remembering because if it floated on the lava to begin with, what would make it sink? I guess. Yeah. Uh, well, I, I mean, th there are several points where the rocks she were like shoving their stabs into the ground and cracking up the ground and stuff. I mean, that was only really Lyrac. Yeah, I know. That's what, I mean, like, yeah, I don't, I don't really know why that would cause it to sink, though. But that was the implication. To be honest, I don't understand how it's floating on the river at all. I, I don't think it was floating to begin with. I think it was just a landmass in the yeah, lake of lava. That's what I think as well, which makes no sense as to how it could sink into the lava. Because it's clear that the rocks you never flew down to the base and went tink, 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 tink. Yeah. So yeah, that I guess th that would be a plot hole then. Yeah, there we go. Okay, that yeah, a plot that, hole. That's wonderful. Takora sinking. <laughs> nice. It makes no sense that Takora is sunk into the into the ocean. Takora bridge is <laughs> the ocean falling down, lava. falling down. Yeah, I had, I had to make that clear in case someone was like, the ocean, var, the it's ocean. on top of a lake of lava. The lava ocean. <laughs> it's like yes, I know that. I'm sorry, I chose the word ocean. Oh, yeah, man. you better be. <laughs> So yeah, that's a plot hole. Let's think of other plot holes. This is fun. Plot yeah, hole. Uh, yeah, I'm not well versed enough. We should story. make a series out of this. How does? Oh wait, what about Takanuma being able to build the Usanui? Uh, no, oh, that was explained. We're going back to that. Yeah. Oh, uh, was it? How was that explained? It was explained stupidly, what? but it was explained. He just. He it wasn't had explained the... in the main story, but legend foretold that Takanuva basically had the blueprints put in his mind by the Great Beans, and when he became a Toa, they got unlocked, and he built the Usanui. It's incredibly so it was, it was, stupid, but it's not it, a it, plot hole. It was a plot hole when the movie was released, but then they decided to come up with a really contrived and stupid reason yes. for it to not be. Gotcha. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's basically Bionicle for you right there. <laughs> uh, what, what are we saying? That obvious plot hole, Jala's reviving, maybe. Yeah, I mean, J Jala's resurrection. I mean, it, that's, it, Is it a plot hole? It is because... Hmm... The thing is, it's not really clear with Mask of Light because it almost seems like they needed Jala and Holly there to resurrect Mata Nui, you know? It was never explained. It was very yeah. illogical. Yeah. It, it was never yeah. explained how they resurrected it because because Vakama does the whole thing where he moves Jala over the duty and then Holly as unity. Oh, okay. Yeah, no, no. I thought you guys were talking about Jala's resuscitation, not Takanuva's. No, no. I, that's what I mean. Jala. Jala. Yeah, well, he. It, it seemed like he needed both Jala and Holly and Takanuba to revive Mata Nui. Oh, no, 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 no. Okay, we're thinking of talking about three different things. One, Jala being revived. Two, Takanuva being revived. Because in the movie, Takanuva being revived is completely irrelevant. That's not what I'm talking about right now. We mentioned Jala, 
and it's a plot hole because if Jala died, then they couldn't have revived the Mata Nui under the assumption under the assumption that they needed Jala and Holly to revive him. But it makes no sense that they were able to revive Jala. Well, I believe we had a theory about that when we last discussed it, and it was that Takuta Nuva had all the powers of Makuta, which included teleportation. So it makes sense with his enhanced powers with Takanuva, he'd be able to teleport Jala's body over, put life into the mask body How? thing. Uh, well, that the, the whole life thing, that was explained. He just, like, chunked off a portion of his life force and shoved it in Jala. Uh, okay. Ridiculous. So once again, in context of the movie, that's sort of a plot hole that was just kind of reversed due to stupid, illogical <laughs> ex uh, explanation. <laughs> There you go. Bionicle. <laughs> so, yeah, basically what I said earlier, that's pretty much Bionicle for you. Man, maybe G2 <laughs> isn't so bad. <laughs> I, I mean, Bionicle doesn't really make a lot of sense. There's yeah. a lot of things that don't make sense. Yeah, well, time to move fandom. See you guys. TTV's over. Yep. Bye, guys. I'm moving to Transformers. Woo! <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. The Transformers fandom. <laughs> We're not going there. We're not doing it. Okay, well, honestly speaking, I think it may be time we wrap this up. Well, yep, Messi, I even... agree. We we are, we are all like this is perfect. Yes, thank I, you, Messi. Yeah. Please wrap us up now. Yeah, I don't want another hour long episode. So, thank you all very much for listening to this episode. I hope we were able to entertain you with these topics. Please be sure to check out the TTV message boards for more interesting topics like these, and leave feedback to these guys. Post your bionicle plot holes. Comment on that guy's hermit crab topic. You know. Don't do that. <laughs> Give your thoughts on Lego Worlds, and we will see you all next week, hopefully with some Bionicle news. But if not, we can look forward to July when the sets come out. And I mean, so far, this this was a good example of an episode where we were able to discuss Bionicle, but not without any news. Exactly, and we didn't yeah. argue. Well, we kind of argued a couple times, but nothing about G2. <laughs> so, <laughs> break from the norm. I think the voice actor did a great job in every facet. We're not doing oh boy. it. So, oh, boy. Yeah, Why thank I'm you very Jay. much for listening. <laughs> Stay tuned to our channel for all the other cool content we will be doing, and we will see you next week. If you're interested in any behind-the-scenes information on Bionicle, be sure to sign up for a free audiobook at audibletrial.com forward slash TTV. Yes. You can get Brick by Brick, How Lego Rewrote the Rules of Innovation, which has a whole chapter all about Bionicle's inception. And if you want that. accurate information about the prior Bionicle story, go to Bionicle Sector 01. You know, I, I got my Audible trial, and I never actually, like, Read brick by brick. I, should, I mean, like, listen to brick by brick. I should totally do that. You did cancel, yeah. right? Yeah, I did. Okay. That's another so, thing. Thank you, you all. Can you, can, you can cancel anytime. So, obviously, you need a credit card to sign up, but after that, get your free audiobook. You can cancel whenever you want. <laughs> yeah. Pretty much. So, thank you all very much for listening. I'm Messinac. I'm Bardaran. I'm LJ. I'm Viper. Viper. There's no Kahi. I know. I'm Viper. Uh. I'm Takuma Nuba. <laughs> that was some serious well, lag right there. All right. <laughs> anyway, Takuma, say your name. I did. Say it again. No. Say my name. I'm Takuma Nuba. Say it again so that Viper isn't talking over you. <laughs> my name. Okay, whatever. Just kidding. <laughs> okay. okay. I'm Takuma Nuba. Okay. So, uh, thank you. <laughs> And thank, <laughs> and, and thank you for listening to TTV episode 146. We'll see you all next time. Farewell. What was that? What was that <laughs> ending? I, I, uh, I don't.